Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why I think Ron Rivera should be the NFL Coach of the Year for 2020, or at least in consideration for after everything he's gone through, and him able to turn around a team that was 3-13 and last year to 7-9 and and NFC East champs. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe for Washington and NFL content, so let's get right into the video. And before fans from other teams come at me, I definitely think that coaches like Matt LaFleur, Sean McDermott, Brian Flores, and Kevin Stefanski should be in consideration for Coach of the Year. I think they've all done amazing jobs for this team, for their teams. But seeing what Ron Rivera has done firsthand for the Washington football team, I'll be making a video on why I think he should be the coach of the year. Let's start off with the obvious. He turned a team around that was 3-13 last year. Just an awful team last year with, you know, quarterback controversies. Just not a good team. They were 3-13, and had the second pick in the draft, drafted Chase Young, who was a franchise-changing player. And, you know, this year, they ended up 7-9, and and because of a bad division, they were able to win the NFC East. And Ron Rivera's first year as a head coach for the Washington football team. And he also had to do it with four different quarterbacks this year. Started the year off with Dwayne Haskins starting the first four games, then went to Kyle Allen. Kyle Allen played a few games, got one win, but then got injured against the Giants. Alex Smith comes in, you know, plays solid, leads us to a 4-1 and record, then gets hurt in the 49ers game. Then we got to go to Dwayne Haskins against the Seahawks. That whole drama plays out. Haskins plays against the Panthers, plays terrible, gets released. We have to play Taylor Heineke. And in the final game of the season, it was not pretty, but we were able to get the win and win the NFC East with four different quarterbacks. And that just goes to show a great job, Ron Rivera, how he's done. Jack Del Rio, just a great, great job by Ron Rivera to win seven games uh, with four different quarterbacks, and you know, you also have to mention a lot of their losses were very, very close game. They lost a game to the Giants by one. They lost another game to the Giants by three. They lost the Lions by three. They lost other games also that were close, like the Seahawks by five. And some of those games were obviously we lost due to quarterback play, but a lot of that also had to do with our kicking. And if we would have made a couple kicks, we could have easily had one to two more wins this year and finished 8-8, eight and eight, maybe even 9-7. and seven. I know every team has those things where if one thing bounced their way, but we had seven missed kicks this year by our kicker. Also, a few uh, missed extra points that came in costly, so um, Ron Rivera is still able to win seven games with four different starting quarterbacks. And he also, let's just talk before we get into other things that happened during the season. Let's talk about the stuff that happened in the off season that, you know, were deemed a distraction, not uh, by Ron Rivera's fault, but the whole ownership drama with Dan Snyder, the name change in the off season, Darius Geis getting arrested, you know, having to move on from Trent Williams, from Quentin Dunbar, you know, Trent Williams and Quentin Dunbar, Ron Rivera was saying this before the season, players that don't want to be a part of this are going to be shipped out. And that's exactly what happened. You know, Ron Rivera is trying to, was trying to build a winning culture and those guys weren't going to contribute to it if they didn't want to be here. And, you know, he did exactly that by shipping them out. You know, a lot of people were mad that we didn't get the, you know, great trade value, but it looks like uh, it worked out at the end because our culture is so much better than it was last year in the, at the end of the uh, 2019 season. And that's one of the biggest thing with Ron Rev- uh, things with Ron Rivera. He's not necessarily a huge X's and O's guy. He is a smart defensive guy, but the biggest thing with him is the leadership and you know, the culture that he's able to build. You saw that in Carolina and you're seeing this in Washington. He's done a very, very good job for us and just everything you had to deal with in the offseason. And you also have to think about it. I mean, this 
applies to a lot of the new head coaches and head coaches that are going into new situations like Kevin Stefanski, but there was a limited offseason, no rookie minicamp, no OTAs, a limited training camp, and no preseason, and a young team, we're a very young team, most of our core players are young guys, and they would have benefited a greatly by a longer offseason offseason by a preseason and that's part of the reason why we got out to a two and seven start because we're a very young team and there was a very limited offseason but Ron Rivera you know he got his team ready in the middle of the season end of the season especially after the quarterback change that was really the biggest thing he saw that Haskins uh wasn't it wasn't the quarterback that he um wasn't the quarterback of the future, brought in Kyle Allen, played solid, like I said, and then got hurt, and then Alex Smith went 4-1 and one as a starter, actually 5-1 and one now with that game against the Eagles. Um, just a great, great job, again, by Ron Rivera. And the biggest thing, again, what I said is the culture, because our culture with Bruce Allen, uh, you know, all these guys that were involved in the Washington Post article, just it was a toxic culture. And we're sh we're seeing by the locker room videos and everything, the young guys we have, that the culture is a lot better than it was the last few years. And that's going to be very, very important for the Washington football team moving forward. And them able to make the playoffs due to Ron Rivera and this coaching staff is also very important moving forward because even if we lose to the Bucks, even if we get blown out, this is a very important opportunity for these young players to get a taste of the playoffs. You know, again, this helps the culture um, and, you know, I can't believe I didn't even address this before, but him going through cancer, he didn't miss a single game. And I know that doesn't necessarily factor in a, a greatly with, you know, the coach of the year, but him having to go through cancer and not missing a game. I mean, that's that also played into our two and seven start. I mean, he just clearly wasn't right. He had to if you guys aren't Washington fans, you wouldn't know this necessarily. But during the games or during all the practices that he was able to attend uh, early on in the season, he was on a golf cart. He was barely able to move. And in the games, too, it was just sad to see. And he was able to persevere through that. And the guys, the team rallied around that. And that was a huge part also in our season. The guys rallying around Ron Rivera. And, you know, they even said it in the locker room. Uh, the post-game speech by Ron Rivera, I think Jonathan Allen or someone was talking about the great leader that Ron Rivera was and them rallying around him. So, um, you know, like I said earlier, I can see Browns fans, Dolphins fans, Bills fans saying that those guys should be coach of the year. And I would not be upset if they are because, you know, Kev Kevin Stefanski has done a great job with the Browns roster. But, um... I just think personally that Ron Rivera deserves coach of the year or definitely should be a finalist for everything he has gone through. Also, one more thing. We swept the Cowboys. We swept the Eagles. Um, I'm reading this tweet uh, right here. First Monday night football win since 2014 when we played the Steelers. Um, against the Steelers since 1991. First win against the Bengals since 1991. And three starting three different starting quarterbacks and one um, a another quarterback with Taylor Heineke. So great job job by Ron Rivera. And we'll see if he can, can continue it in the playoffs. Going to be very interesting to see tomorrow. I will have a video coming out on who should start the game against the Bucks, Taylor Heineke or Alex Smith. So, so thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope you Washington fans are enjoying your Victory Monday. We are NFC East champs, and that's something that I would not have believed before the season started. Thanks for watching, and peace.